It's not just public transport. I don't feel great about any public place. Public toilets, terrifying places. I'll be honest with you, I don't like doing number twos in public toilets. <laughs> I avoid it. It's too embarrassing for me. I, I, I don't want people to hear my plop. <laughs> <laughs> I get very subconscious about my plop. I, you know what I mean? Sometimes I try, I try and cough over it. Do you ever do that? <laughs> I'll just be in the cubicle. I've heard other people do it. I'll be like washing my hands, and I'll hear from a cubicle. <coughs> blue, blue. Ah, you missed it there. You missed it. You missed, you missed it. You mistimed it. The best you could hope for, really, is uh, it's a sign from God. A, a, a brilliant moment when you're in the cubicle and someone starts drying their hands. Oh, thank God. <laughs> but you just hear that noise. <laughs> Quickly, get out of there. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Harder now, you've only got the Dyson Airblade. You've only got 10 seconds. Get out of me, come on, please! I even feel awkward buying toilet roll. It's embarrassing buying toilet roll, gigantic packs, like 52 rolls in them. Everyone in the shop, everyone in the street knows exactly what's going on. You can't fit them in the bag. They're so big, they're the only thing in the shop that's got its own handle. <laughs> Feels like you're holding a briefcase. Walking down the road, going, excuse me, got an important meeting with the toilet at half nine. Do you mind? Excuse me. Excuse me. I have to buy the big pack. I don't buy the two. You know you can get the, the mini pack, just two rolls, one on top of the other. No way. That's emergency only, isn't it? You buy that, you're effectively telling the person behind the counter, look, I'm halfway through a shit. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Come on, I couldn't find the yellow pages. Come on, quickly, quickly, come on. Thank you, cheers, thank you. <laughs> Being self-conscious is bad for your health. As well, I'm very unhealthy. I can't go to the gym, you know? I don't want people to see me working out. It's embarrassing. I know not everyone has this. Some people go to gyms, work out by the window. The confidence to work out by the window. You see these people on the cross trainer. You know this machine? There is nothing that makes you look like a bigger dick than the cross trainer. So then you walk past, see a bloke there going, Your body doesn't even need to do this, does it? <laughs> I've never been walking down the high street, seeing a bloke go like that. Oh, wait, oh, wait, there's my bus, wait! <laughs> wait for me! <laughs> All these stupid machines you get at the gym, the cross press, that one for stronger blokes. See big men going. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is a bloke training for the unlikely event that someone is going to try and stop him from clapping. <laughs> no, I enjoyed the film, Guffy. I enjoyed the film. Leave me alone. I enjoyed it. <laughs> I've got a friend that started yoga. What are you doing? Yoga. Your body doesn't need to get in these positions. See people in yoga classes going, all right, put your arm behind your back, just relax, get it down, get it all out, stretch it out. The only time you should be in this position is when you think you've run out of toilet roll and behind you is your last hope. <laughs> please, please, come on, please. Please, please have some lift, please, come on, please. All about stretching it out in yoga. Stretch it out, get it out. <laughs> stretch it right out, get it all the way. Stretch it out. You don't need to go to yoga for that. You know, we all do that anyway. All you need to do is be in the shop, be in a queue in the shop, want to stay in the queue, and realise you also want to buy something else as well. <laughs> sorry, you don't mind if I just... Sorry, I'm just going to grab that. Is that all right? I'll just, I'll just stay in my place. Cheers. Is that OK? I'll just... Cheers. Thank you so much. Cheers. Thank you. <laughs> 
the worst one. I saw in an advert people doing this, loads of people in a class going. <laughs> I think they're training to take a dump in a public toilet with no lock. <laughs> And it always used to be like this. I used to be quite healthy, actually. I was a very healthy teenager. Enjoyed football, loved playing football. But I can't, I can't do it now. <laughs> you know, the, the closest I get to football now is when I have to kick the ball back at the park. It's a terrifying moment. It happened to me a few weeks ago. Walking through the park, see the ball rolling towards me. Oh, God. Oh, no. No, please. No, no, not me. Hear the guys in the distance going, Oh, mate! Hey! Mate! Give us the ball! Oh, mate! Oi! Justin! Oi! Mate! Oi! Oi, mate! Oi! Aslan! Oi! Oi! The girl from Outnumbered! Oi! Come on! Oi! Oh, God. Oh, God, I've got to kick the ball back. I wanted to do it properly. You know, because I didn't used to be too bad. I thought I could do this. I didn't want to do the dad pass. <laughs> you know the dad pass. Once men reach a certain age, all of them kick the ball like this. <laughs> I, thought, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to do it properly. Swing it round, bend it round. I thought, come on. Come on, Sean, you can do this. Come on, come on. <laughs> <laughs>